All right, so I tried to find Eat Egyptian, which was one of my choices, but since they uh, bounced due to the inclement, the unpleasantly cold and wet weather, I had to improvise. And so I took a suggestion from my aunt. Thank you, auntie. I love you. I took a suggestion from her and I went to the Mojo Loco. It got me not one, but two dishes. I, I know it's like two, 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 two. But anyway, I got two dishes. And the first dish is the famous falafel, which is, it's like a, what, what this particular dish is, is a taco, right? But it has cabbage, pico de gallo, got some herbs and spices. And it's like chickpeas rolled into a ball, then it's fried. So you get that like the, like this light fluffiness. And as soon as I can get the taco, I'll show you what it looks like. Give you a little, a little demonstration. And then the sauce that's the sauce that is on it is a little chipotle ranch. So you get a, like a little spicy kick. So yeah, there you go. There you go. Alright. So let's get into this bite. I'm gonna get a little bit of the uh this is like the Chipotle Ranch that's in it. Oh, whoo! Man, the boy with the save! Whoo! Okay, I'm gonna do a little, little dip, little double dabble, you know what I'm saying. Alright, here we go! Wow, this, this is my first time having a falafel, but it is an enjoyable experience, I'm not gonna lie. I say the falafel, like, it's soft, it's crunchy, at the same time, cause it's like, the inside, the inside is soft, but the outside is crunchy. And then the chipotle wrench accentuates it, complements it, and then you got the freshness of the peak of the Gaia with the tomatoes and the herbs and the spices kick in and everything. It's, it's a really delectable dish. Mm. Yeah. This lamps. I'm a I'm gonna finish it. Let me finish this. Let me finish this real quick. Mm. Oh, by the way, one of my dances, if they, if they become repetitive, it's just because when I when I go on a dance floor, I only have a a two-step rhythm like it's just simple and basic so yeah so if it gets repetitive lo siento but you know that's that's how it is that's how that's that's just me that's that's me all the way through oh man my fingers are messy but Joyful at the same time. Highly joyful. Woo! Rather than It's hard to dance while I'm sitting down. It really is. I don't know how other dancers do it. Bravo to them. I act clap, but my hands are messy. All right. So the second dish is the steak and crab quesadilla. Now, what's cool about this dish is that this is like a, uh, to me, this is like a, a surf and turf sort of dish, you know? 
So here it is. Got some shredded cheese in there, the steak, the crab meat, all in a nice crispy tortilla, which makes it a quesadilla, so. So I'm gonna dip it with the ranch. Excuse me, moi. Here we go. Bruh. Bruh. Yo. Yo. You can taste the steak. You can taste the crab meat. So it's not heavy. Like, like the crispy tortilla is not heavy. And then when you combine it with the Chipotle ranch, it adds a spicy kick to it. Like, not an overly spicy kick, but it's like a nice pleasant spicy kick. Oh my lord. Jeez. Let me get a, let me get another bite in there. Mm. Wow. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. If I did have a, like the type of favorite food, seafood would be it. I don't have no napkins, so please do not mind my uh, messy fingers. You know, I'm, I know I'm supposed to be, you know, all prim and proper, but sometimes food, a joyful food experience sometimes gets messy, so. Oh, yeah. Wow. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. So, I'm gonna finish this off with the dessert. And I just wanna say, if you saw all my videos for this particular festival, or any video in general, I greatly appreciate it. And no amount of words will ever show how much gratitude I have for y'all for tuning in, tuning in, ah, da, da, da. tuning in. Wow, that was not supposed to happen. Wow, that that is really unkempt of you, there. Come on, get it together, man. But yeah, like, thank you, thank you. Stick around.